Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Scrap Mechanic. Today is going to be another town update, but before we go about this update, I really want to go ahead and talk about the whole fact that we've reached 30,000 subs. I mean, it seems like it was less than a month ago I was doing my 20,000 subs special, and now we're at the 30,000 mark. So that's mind-blowing, like, that's amazing, and I want to thank you guys. If I could thank each and every one of you, I would, but that's not really possible for me. But yeah, thank you. I uh, will try to do something special. I don't really know what. Uh, I'll think of something. But yeah, let's go ahead and go to the town update here. Now you can see one of our new vehicles, and it's kind of like a new old vehicle. This is the tow truck, or at least the truck part. Uh, I copied it over, and I just needed another truck to go around town in. And really the theme of this build, and you can see it in the back of the truck. There's a lot of uh, materials in the back of it, so let's go ahead and take a little bit of a drive. This isn't the only vehicle for this update. Now you can see, oh look, there's some cones, and looks like the road's a little bit ripped up. Some things have been going on in the town here, and I want to show you guys something. I want to show you guys the middle, the whole construction theme that we've talked about. Now it's been debated a lot about what we were going to do here in the middle. Uh, I've heard things from like an off-road track, which is really strange to me, to like just a bunch of random things. The terrain is really bad in the middle. I mean, it's just so bumpy, you can't really stick any structures there. So it really just made sense for this to be some sort of construction site. So anyways, here's the uh, vehicle I was talking about. There's nothing special. I really just ripped the tow part out. I changed the suspension up a little bit, and I just added a bunch of construction materials in the back, and actually I just flew off of it for some reason. Huh. Anyways, but yeah, you can see all this down here. Really cool looking. I just painted it black, put a little construction zone sign on there. Really like it. But yeah, let's go ahead and walk into the construction zone. This isn't, that's not the only vehicle I like. I'm not going to do an update where I just like, hey, I took one of my vehicles that I already made and just ripped a part of it off, and that was it, so... I've got two more vehicles here. Now, this construction zone, it's still kind of under development. I'm not 100% done with it. Uh, you're going to notice some things that probably should be in a construction zone that are not in here right now. So, I think we're getting a little bit of lag off that truck. So let me go ahead and put that on a lift and get it inside here. Anyways, this construction zone, I don't really know what to go over first. To be honest with you, a lot of this is just unfinished structures. It reminds me a lot of my apocalypse world where I had to take structures, kind of add all these beams in here and make them look like they're, well, in the apocalypse world they look like they were destroyed, but here it looks like they're being built. So I've got that. I've got a big, looks, looks like a big garbage bin over here to the right. I've got some pallets with some construction materials on it, some boxes. You've got another structure over here. This is actually a two-story one. I debated how far to go up with this because I was like, what would these structures actually be in the town? So maybe there would be more housing, maybe they'd be... A lot of people talked about a town hall and I actually think I'm going to build one, but I don't think I want it in here. I have to figure out where I'm going to put that, but yeah, you can walk in here and kind of look around. And for some reason, right about this area, I get a little bit of lag, but right when I walk about to this point, it just clears up and I don't know really why, but yeah. You've got some materials in here, you've got just... Just try to make it look as realistic as possible for a construction zone. This is actually supposed to be like an elevator that's going to be put in. You can see it actually run up to the second floor. Let's go ahead and walk up the stairs here. Just some materials, you've got some little generators. Uh, it looks like air conditioners. Just whatever you would need in here. Uh, let's go ahead and pop back down. I've got one more structure that I started. Actually, two more. Forgot about the one on the hill over there. This one's another foundation, and this one hasn't been filled up with concrete, so you can see all the rebar and beams going across it. Uh, I've got a porta crapper here, or let's call it a porta potty. I guess I should be more correct about that. Yeah, I've got one of those. I mean, what construction site doesn't have a porta potty? You've got that. You've got some more materials everywhere. Uh, you've got another little pad up here, another foundation. This one's still being built. Now, I thought about adding a crane, and I don't know, this, it is a big construction site, but we're not like building a skyscraper or anything, so I'm debating on that crane if it's going to be worth it. Uh, we might add one of those, but let's go ahead and look at our other vehicles real quick. I've got two here, and a lot of these actually had to do with road work too. 
I've got a steamroller here. I really like the way this one came out. And then I've got a grater over here. This thing was a pain. I had to actually scrap the original design. I didn't like it at all. I went back and just did it again. Uh, what I've been doing, I've actually gone to a flat world and that's where I design my vehicles and take them over here. That way I can go in there and go crazy with them and just keep redesigning, keep duplicating them and changing just minor things. It just helps a lot. So I do that and I'll take these over into this world. Now I would like to have like a big backhoe or something. Uh, maybe we're going to add that next. I don't really know what the next update's going to be. Like it, I don't think it's going to be all construction. We might move to something else too. But yeah, these two vehicles, and I guess even that one, uh, the black truck will be available on the workshop. So I'll put those up for a lot of you that can't run my worlds. So I'm going to stick those on the workshop. But yeah, let's go ahead and go over them real quick. All right, we're going to go over the steamroller first because it's probably the simpler vehicle. You can see the uh, spider web isn't that bad. And realistically, it doesn't need to be that bad. I mean, it's just a steamroller. You just got the rollers in the front. It doesn't do anything special. Uh, for the rollers, I use the tanks, and those actually came out pretty good. And the back, I've got another roller. Now, some steamrollers only have the roller in the front, and the back's like a set of wheels. But Scrap Mechanics wheels are just a little too small, so it didn't look quite right. So I went ahead and went with the uh, second roller. So that came out pretty good. Uh, let me go ahead and jump in here. The way it turns... It's got that right in the middle. There's actually two bearings right behind the front roller and it just moves the whole front piece. Now it's got a really wide turning radius. It does not turn good at all. Uh, let me get it out on the road here where it would be used. It takes a lot to turn it. So you're definitely, if you're going to get around some of these corners, you're going to have to turn several times like back and forth, but it does work. It's pretty cool. I'm pretty satisfied with the way it came out. I just didn't know of any other way to do it. And to make it turn like they do in real life, I had to use a system in the front. I guess maybe you could use a suspension glitch and get it to turn faster, but I don't know how realistic that would be, so. Anyways, it drives around, just, just doesn't turn. <laughs> you can take it up the hill. It's running off uh, electric motors, two of them in the bottom. I went ahead and separated them. I thought about putting both on the... Uh, for both rollers, but I went ahead and did one on one and one on the other just in case I needed more power. Uh, it's really a heavy vehicle, especially in the back with all the metal, so I wasn't quite sure what I was going to need. But yeah, this vehicle was pretty cool. I just knew this was one of the construction vehicles that I wanted, but the one I'm really proud of is the Grader, so let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick. It's definitely the one I spent the most time with. Actually, I'm going to have to use the door here. I didn't realize how tall this roof was. That's like one of the first vehicles that I could actually climb out and use the doors, so that's kind of strange for me. But yeah, let's go ahead and check this vehicle out. I love this vehicle. Uh, it's not perfect. There's a couple things that probably need to be adjusted, especially with the blade, but it turns like a real grader. You've got the front. It can like turn off the front, but it also has a bearing right where the body meets this long piece in the front, so that helps it turn too. I've seen these things on like the side of hills and the front will be like scooted out a little bit or skewed. So I think I got it pretty correct. I wouldn't say it's 100%, but I'm definitely happy with the way it came out. Uh, let me think. We should probably run it up a road. I mean, this would help to flatten this area. Normally you'd use a backhoe and this would go over it. But I see a lot of these on the road. I've, ac I've actually had for the past two weeks, they've been working on the road out in front of my house. And I've been staring at one of these for about two weeks. And it's been really annoying because it, it's made so much noise. It's made recording really bad. Like, I've been trying to find a place in my house where I don't hear them. And it's really hard to, so. Anyway, say this road is all broken up. I was going to use the uh, broken up road up there as an example. But the whole fact that the cones don't actually move. They're not a loose object. So I'm going to have to do it right here. But yeah, you've got two electric motors in here, and I'll break down, I'll go over the spider web here in a second. Uh, one raises the uh, little blade up and one drops it. It can push down, it drops by itself, but I just went ahead and put another motor there, just in case you need to drop it faster. But they're being held up by these two bars here in the top, so if you hit the one key, it drops those bars and it drops the blade. And you can drag it that way. Now these blades, 
from what I've seen, I've watched, I've actually stood out and watched the one on the road. Those blades don't seem to move. I've got a bearing and I've got it shifted sideways. They, they always seem to stay sideways. They're not going to stay like just straight forward. So they're always at an angle just to push the dirt and flatten it. But yeah, it's pretty accurate, I think. But you can drive it around and we can go ahead and bump that back up. And what you would do, like I said, you'd hit the uh, three key and it's gonna, those electric motors, now I could probably put a little more power in those electric motors to make that raise up faster, but you hold that down and you hit the one key and those little bars are gonna go back below it and just drop it and it locks back into place. So you can drive around a little easier. I was worried that this was actually gonna cause lag when you have these collisions in the ground, scrap mechanic doesn't know how to react always. So I was worried that this blade when it was scraping against the ground was gonna cause lag, but it's surprisingly solid, so really happy with this vehicle. I'm actually really happy with all the vehicles. Now I do, like I said, want to add maybe a bulldozer, a backhoe, just something that, something else, because I know that construction site's going to need one. Now as far as a crane, I don't know if I'm going to add one. Uh, it seems like it's going to be a lot for what it's just going to really turn and go up and down. Uh, I feel like maybe we should move on to another build, so maybe we'll just add a backhoe or a bulldozer on the next build. Or I might even look around the workshop a little bit to see if there's any really good ones on there. Maybe a good design. Because I'm a little lost. Like, I know, like, you should have, like, treads on there. But with the way treads and scrap mechanic work together, it's terrible. I don't want to lag out. So it's most likely going to be these tires uh, just lined up. And we'll have the uh, scoop and everything on there. But, yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll move on to whatever build we're going to do next. So I was going to show you this. Here's the uh, spider web on the grader. Not overly complicated. Most everything's actually here in the back. You can open up this little cat or this little engine area and get access to all the controllers and all the all these are on electric motors. So you can go in there and adjust those. But yeah, what we're going to do next. I know we've talked a lot about the airport and I'm getting a little bit of lag right here. Uh, the airport's something that I do want to do. Uh, what I'm going to wind up doing is I'm going to build the planes not in this world. I'm going to build them on the flat world. That way if I need help or if it's just easier to do it there because you've, you're dealing with a lot of terrain and trees here. And a lot of it's just going to be experimental. So I am going to do that. That's going to be something that's coming in the future. But I'm also going to work on other projects in between. Like, I still want to finish this ranger station up here. I've been talking about it, and I really need to commit and finish that. I'd like to have a little bit more housing, so maybe that. Uh, I know we've talked, the town hall's been popping up a lot in the comment section. So, we're probably going to do that too. But yeah, got a lot to work on here. And also, I have some more surprises coming, uh, maybe with Scrap Mechanic, maybe tomorrow. So, I've got... Plenty to keep me busy. My work schedule is going to be a little crazy this weekend, so I don't know if I'm going to get another town update out. You might just get, hopefully, a surprise tomorrow, and then we'll do something else on Sunday. Uh, speaking of something else, I finished my Turmoil series. I wanted to bring this up in the video. If you'd like to suggest another game, I always need to have something else I can play on the channel. I need something that's not... Like, I'm pretty sure stuff like Planet Coaster is going to pop up and stuff like that. I, I need something that I can just sit down and record and, like, just play. I something that it's not going to take me several hours like scrap mechanics. So, something that I can play there. I've, I've had my eyes on a couple games. Uh, there's some stuff that I'm really looking at. And maybe I won't even do a full series. It might be just a bunch of one-off episodes and first impressions. So, if you have any suggestions, tell me below. Now, like I said, that's going to about wrap it up for this episode. Thank you guys for the 30,000 subs. Thank you for enjoying the series, supporting me. It's been awesome. I look forward to putting out a lot more scrap mechanic for you guys and other games, of course. But yeah, that's going to about wrap it up. Now, this will be available to download. I will also, like I said, put all the vehicles in the workshop for those who can't actually run my maps. I've heard a little bit of like people talking about when they actually go into my maps it crashes the game and I guess it's just there's so much to it uh, I know certain people like con gaming he can run this map just fine but there's others that the map doesn't even load up so it's just getting really big and busy so <laughs> there's not much I can do but I can at least get you guys the uh, vehicles 
And also, while I'm thinking about it, uh, I have the Steam group, so if you'd like to join that, I'll link that in the description. So, maybe you'll come join us over there. I'm trying to interact with the viewers a little bit. It's still kind of hard with my schedule right now for me to get out there and really, you know, sit down and, like, go into their games and play and all that, so... Hopefully I can get some more of that done soon, but... Anyways, hope you enjoyed the episode, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you!